Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Aspire 1681651GM. To open this notebook, you have to undo 10 Phillips head screws. Lift the top two edges with a thin plastic tool. While the plastic piece is still inserted into the chassis, raise the zones behind the hinges with a lever tool. Then, pry the back, the sides, and the front. This machine has a 53-watt-hour battery. To take it out, pull out the connector from the mainboard and undo the two Phillips head screws that fix the unit to the base. The capacity is enough for around seven hours and a half of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the battery saver preset in the Windows power and battery menu. The Wi-Fi card is placed below the right cooling fan. The RAM section is protected by a metal shroud, and you can lift it with a lever tool. The shroud has a thermal pad on the inside. Up to 8 gigabytes of memory are soldered, but on the bright side, there is a SODIM for dual-channel mode. According to Acer, the slot fits up to 16 gigabyte DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM sticks. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. For storage, there are two M.2 slots. The one on the right is for Gen 4 SSDs, and the other one is for Gen 3 units. After undoing the single screw that secures the NVMe drive in place, you have to push forward the plastic hook in front to release the SSD. The cooling seems potent enough for a laptop with an entry-level dedicated GPU. It has a pair of fans, two heat pipes, one long top-mounted heat sink, and two heat spreaders.